So guys, today I'm gonna to be reviewing a fragrance from Tom Ford. We're gonna be taking a look at Tobacco Oud. Now don't be put off by the name of this fragrance, Oud. I know that puts off some people that say, oh, I don't like Oud, I'm just gonna pass completely on this fragrance. You want to give this one a try because it's actually really, really good stuff. So I just wanted to throw that out there before I start the video. Definitely give this one a chance because you might actually really like it. So what do I get from Tobacco Oud? I get right off the top a nice smooth tobacco with some spices in the background and some of that Oud starts to come up to the surface too. It's not a really really stanky oud it's nothing that is overpowering like i said it's a little bit on the fresher side as far as ouds go it's nothing like i said that is overbearing and it comes across really nice it gives the fragrance a lot of backbone and a lot of depth right when you first spray it i also get a little bit of the whiskey boozy smell and when that mixes with the tobacco it comes across as a very nice masculine scent this one is a unisex Personally, I think it leans masculine, but I'm sure it could also smell great on a woman. I haven't smelled it on any women before, but this one to me definitely leans towards the masculine side as far as the Tom Ford private blends go. So in the dry down, I get a lot of that tobacco and oud as the name implies. I get this nice balsamic, heavy, sweet dry down with a little bit of incense with a little bit of patchouli as well. And this fragrance just has a lot of depth and it keeps that depth throughout the whole life of the fragrance from when you first spray it to when it dries down. And the dry down is definitely my favorite part. It just smells so alluring, so inviting, so sexy, and it's really, really nice. Like I said, that oud is still prominent, but it's really just adding to the composition, giving it some depth. It's not overpowering it in any way. So like I said, if you are someone that generally dislikes oud, still I think you should grab a sample of this one and try it out because it is very, very good stuff. And it's one of the fragrances that I would go to say is addicting. When I first got this, I sprayed it. I couldn't stop smelling myself. And even now, I just can't stop smelling it. It's very addicting. It's very inviting. And it's just a really, really well done, well blended scent. So this one definitely is suited more for cooler months but you could easily pull it off in the spring and summer if you wanted to. Just limit your sprays, don't go too heavy on the spray if you're gonna be going outdoors or anything like that in the summer. But you could pretty much wear this any time of the year if you're in a temperature controlled environment. There's no reason why you couldn't. If you're in an AC restaurant or whatever the case may be in the summer, you can still wear this just fine. And to me, it definitely is suited for evening. So if you're going out for a dinner, if you're going on a date, shout out to my boy Connor, you know what's up, bro. Uh, anything like that, I think this is great for, again, more leaning towards fall and winter as far as the scent profile, but honestly, you can wear it pretty much any time of the year, it really doesn't matter. So like I said, guys, more for evenings, more for occasions where you may be a little bit more dressed up, you may be out to eat, and situations like that really isn't much of a casual smelling fragrance. As far as performance goes on this one, it performs really, really well. It projects really well off my skin and also it lingers around on my skin for quite some time, uh, easily over eight or nine hours or so, sometimes even more than that. And that's the type of performance you want in a scent like this uh, for the winter, for the fall when it's colder so it'll hold up and the temperatures better, but also because it is, again, a tobacco and oud dominated scent with some incense with some heavier notes and a fragrance like this is going to hold up a lot more than a citrus based fragrance. Fragrance is mainly composed of middle notes and base notes so it's going to hold up a lot longer than a fragrance consisting mainly of top notes. So performance is definitely very good and it's about what I'm looking for in this type of scent. So guys, overall, what do I think of it? I really enjoy it a lot. I'm going to be wearing it a ton here in a few months when it cools off a little bit. I can wear it outdoors and situations like that. And it's gonna be up there pretty high in my fall and winter rotation. I like to get a couple other Tom Fords for this winter. Uh, Tuscan Leather is a really good one I just have a sample of. Tobacco Vanille is another really good one. I'd like to get a few bottles of those and this one, Tobacco Oud, is gonna be in that rotation for this upcoming colder months. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. What do you guys think of this fragrance? Let me know down below. Love to hear your thoughts on this one if you've tried it, if you haven't. And like I said, definitely get your nose on it. Even if you're not a fan of Oud, still try it. Grab a sample of it somewhere and try it because it is very good. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Make sure you give this video a like. It really helps out my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe. 
and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. And that's it guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Give me a chance to